Rising cooking gas price. Nigerians resort to charcoal and firewood. Uh -huh. So, with the way cooking gas price is rising, and uh, almost the all petroleum products are not easy to reach now, because petrol is already high, diesel is already high, kerosene, I don't think kerosene is reachable anymore. So people are now resorting to charcoal and firewood. And because the demand for charcoal and firewood is going to go up now, the price will also go up. That is the truth. The demand is obviously going to be more than what it used to be. And following basic economics of uh, demand and supply principles, that price of firewood and charcoal will start going up now. Oh, wow. We are back to Abacha days of 1994, when we invented Abacha tube and uh, we're turning diesel into kerosene to cook. I remember that 1994 Abacha era during the, the Kukuri uh, riot and uh, yeah, Nupeng and Pengasan riot with uh, with the military then under Abacha. So there was what to call Abacha's tube. We are getting gradually back into that stage now. So I would say that Tiribu's government is taking us back to 1994, the era of Abacha's tube. Quite unfortunate. But let's dive into the details. From Abdul Latif Ali Lagos, um, Nigerians in some parts of the country have resorted to using charcoal as the cost of liquefied petroleum gas LPG, otherwise known as cooking gas, um, has continued to skyrocket. Daily Trust can report. This is just as the cost of charcoal. This is just as the cost of charcoal has also risen owing to high demand, exactly, with some people switching to firewood. Mm -hmm. Checks by Daily Trust in Abuja, Kano, Lagos, and Jaws show that citizens were filling a 12.5 kg kilogram cylinder of gas, uh, cooking gas, with about 18,000 naira. So the Nigerian Association of Liquefied Petroleum Gas Marketers, Nagam, had last year predicted that the 12.5 kg cylinder would go would cost eighteen thousand going by the frequent uh, increases. So last November, following a rise in the price of cooking gas per kg from about seven hundred to about one thousand one hundred, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources um Ekperikwe Ekbo constituted a committee headed by the chief executive of the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority NMDPRA, okay, Farouk Ahmed, to come up with recommendations on how to boost supplies and crash the price within a week. Despite that assurance, the price of cooking gas has continued to increase with a kilogram selling for 1,400 in some parts of the country. This translates into 17,500 for a 12.5 kg cylinder. Oh boy. So the special advisor to the Minister on Media and Communication, Louis Eber, neither answered phone calls nor replied text and WhatsApp messages sent to him by Daily Trust seeking to know what the government has or what the government was doing to crash the price of cooking gas as promised. So the minister had at a stakeholders consultative meeting in Abuja on, fe on February 6th listed the measures the government would take to bring down the price of cooking gas. So he said the government would prioritize the domestication and penetration of the LPG towards ensuring accessibility and availability for consumers and increase upstream gas production to, pri to bridge supply and improve strategic economic uh, sectors like gas to power, gas-based industries, and gas for export. So EPO also said the government would complete major gas midstream infrastructure and projects, including the AKK gas pipeline project and OB3 gas pipeline projects and the ANO projects. This, according to him, would enable flagship projects like the brass methanol project to enhance the efficiency and capacity of the gas sector. A survey by Daily Trust at the weekend in Lagos indicated that cooking gas sold for between 1,150 and 1,350 per kg and uh, between 1,250 
and 1350 in some areas in Ogun State. A resident of Ujudu Bega, Ms. Uchechi, said she bought one kilogram for 1,400 also at Okearu, Lagos Ogun uh, Boundary Community. It was sold at 1,300 up from 1,150 per kg. So a Lagos resident, Rashid Ayodeji, said the rising price of cooking gas had increased the cost of living. So in a Lorian Quara state, residents yesterday filled a 12.5 kg cylinder with 16,875 naira from the 13,000 naira it was sold about a week earlier. So in Kano Metropolis, residents said they were already seeking alternatives to account uh, on account of increasing prices as retail outlets were selling a kilogram of cooking gas between 1350 and 1450 depending on the location. A. A. Rano, a major gas dealer in Kano, was selling at 1280 per kilogram when our reporter visited. While Ultimate Gas, also a major dealer, said uh, he was selling at 1300 naira per kg. So a 12 kg cylinder was refilled with 17,100 and a 6 kg at 8,500 at AM Fago, a retail outlet on uh, Inua Duse Road. Hmm. But our reporter observed that retailers at Fage and Sharada were selling gas at 1350 per kg. Monzali Muhammad Hausawa, a civil servant in Kano, said he had switched to using charcoal because of the high cost of cooking gas. Mm -hmm. So a 12 kg of cooking gas lasts for two weeks in any in my house. Why two bags of charcoal, which I bought for 9000 will last for a whole month, he said. So in some places at the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja, the price of a one kilogram of gas is now uh, between 1300 and 1350 per kilogram. Oh boy. So is this what this government has brought us into? This is just very, very bad okay this is very very bad so as uh, experts are speaking around it an oil and gas expert dr daoda garuba said the consequence of people using an alternative means of cooking gas would not be palatable he said to ask what we can do about the high cost of cooking gas is to play innocent what will happen in anybody's guess it is obviously not going to be <clears throat> palatable to the environment. We are going to be victims of deforestation and greenhouse gas emission. Temperatures in the country is, in, is already hot, with people talking of 41 degrees Celsius in the north and 38 degrees Celsius in the south. Never in the history of Nigeria have we been faced with this manner of economic hardship. So the country is facing a huge energy crisis from fossil fuel to electricity and cooking gas. So the signs are ominous, yet energy is central to national questions and security. So what is more fundamental is that power wielders are living a profligate life while asking the rest of the people to sacrifice for their luxury. And that we're saying that it's not going to continue to work. Nigerians are obviously going to revolt in a very, very short while. I am pretty sure of that. Nigerians are going to say no in a very short while. I know that. So that is the situation we have now. The Tunubu and APC government, um, because of energy crisis, have returned us back to 1994 of our stove era, which is an unfortunate situation. So we're going backward. 1994 to 2024 is 30 years ago. That is 30 years ago. And that is bad. So thank you for listening. And uh, let's have your comments.